All right, folks, the final seven-round mock draft of the week, the Buffalo Bills. We're doing a Buffalo Bills seven-round mock that is based on my first-round mock from last Monday. You can see that video right here. That'll give you a little bit of an insight as to how we came to what we came to and how this all shook out. This is what the Bills did after that. Uh, tomorrow there should be another uh, first-round mock draft if all things go according to plan. So be sure to check that out. Hit the little subscribe thing, all the likes and comments and all that stuff. Let's get started. With the 30th overall pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Buffalo Bills select Zaven Collins, edge rusher, Tulsa. Um, I don't see this a lot on the big need priority lists that are out there and whatnot, but I'm looking at a team that has a really good pass rusher that is very old and on the way out and not a ton behind him. I don't think A.J. Epinesa has shown a ton of promise thus far. Um, and even if he does step up and fill that void and become a very good football player like we hope he will, we still need somebody else off the other side. So we're going to go with Zayvon Collins. We're going to try to get this defense stoked back up as the offense really starts to take over and take the lead for this team. With the 62nd overall pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Buffalo Bills select Paulson Adebo, cornerback, Stanford. Obviously, Tredavious White is a freak. He's going to be around for a long time. Big fan of his. Um, the only other guy that's been playing really well, and I'm impressed by it because he's clearly fallen off, is uh, Josh Norman. He's come on pretty strong, but he is getting up in age. He is in the final year of his contract in 2020, so we've got to get a little bit better depth at the cornerback position and get a compliment to Tredavious White that isn't uh, you know, Josh Norman. So we're going Paulson Adebo out of Stanford. With the 94th pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the uh, Buffalo Bills select Monty Rice, linebacker, Georgia. Bills fans love their linebackers from what I've learned. I don't know if that's changed in recent memory. Um, I started off the season getting you a linebacker, and I got uh, thrashed in the comment section over it. Look, I know Matt Milano is decent in coverage, but who's the guy that's a really good run defender? You think it's Tremaine Edmonds? Because it's not. He's not good at that. He hasn't been good at anything. He's graded as the 72nd best linebacker out of 86. So, I, I mean, you know, there isn't one linebacker on this entire team with a good grade. Not one. Average at best. 61 overall grade to Matt Milano is the highest grade any linebacker has. So, I mean, if you think PFF is stupid and everybody else is stupid and all the website saying you guys need linebackers are stupid and everyone's stupid um fine sorry but um, i'm going to get you a linebacker and i'm you know you just we're just gonna have to move on from here with the 145th pick in the 2021 nfl draft the buffalo bills select ben cleveland offensive guard georgia you know, again, I, I just I don't see a lot of promise here. I know we got Cody Ford in 2019 in the second round. Maybe he can step it up. Even if he does, I think we could use some more bodies on the interior. But Cody Ford is also one of the worst offensive linemen that we've had on this this team. So um, not super promising there. Uh, outside of the tackles, I think the interior needs a little bit of help. So we're going with, uh, what is his name? Ben Cleveland out of Georgia. With the 158th pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Buffalo Bills select Kingsley Anegbare, edge rusher, South Carolina. Again, it's just it's just a matter of needing more people. You know, uh, Jerry Hughes is 32 years old. Trent Murphy is 30 years old. Uh, Mario Addison is 33 years old. It's really just A.J. Epinesa and Daryl Johnson kind of holding down the edges right now. And, and, I, and again, I don't know that there's a huge amount of promise. So we're going to bring in more bodies. We're going to bring in more competition. we got Zayvon Collins and Kingsley Ingbare uh, to try to keep this thing stoked up. Because, again, we've got one of the better pass rushers in football right now. But the problem is he's not going to be around very much longer. This might be his last year. I don't know. Comment section. Let me know what the plan is for him. With the 190th pick in the sixth round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Buffalo Bills select Jack Anderson, offensive guard, Texas Tech. So if you didn't like it when I did it the first time, you're not going to like it this time. But again, it's a talent level issue. But on top of that, let me expand. Um, Ike, Brian Winters, and John Feliciano are all uh, free agents after this year. So it's again, it's also a depth thing. So we are getting later into the, the draft. We're talking sixth round. So Ben Cleveland, hopefully, I mean, he's a fifth round pick as well. Between these two guys, we were trying to upgrade the offensive line, but also, again, based on a lot of guys probably leaving, having a solid stable of backups, if and when guys start to fall down, we want to make sure it's not just a complete sieve. So hopefully we're getting a big upgrade at the guard spot. If nothing else, we get maybe one upgrade and a, a decent backup at guard. 
With the 196th pick in the seventh round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Buffalo Bills select LeBron Ray, defensive tackle, Alabama. Similar idea here, you know, we're, we're losing a lot of guys up front. We want to be very good up front. Um, on the interior, Quentin Jefferson, Harrison Phillips, and Vernon Butler are all in the final years of their contract in 2021. That leaves us with Ed Oliver, who right now is graded out as one of the worst defensive tackles in all of football. 115th out of 130 is really, really, really bad. It's actually a big downgrade from what he was able to do last year. Um, looking at some of his stats, 33 pressures on 345 attempts is sub 10%, which isn't great. Only three sacks on the season and just an abysmal run defender. So um, we need help here. I'm not saying we're going to replace Ed Oliver with a seventh round pick. Obviously, we're going to ride with the guy and hope that he can do better. But we, we need to do better. We need to get more bodies. We're going to get a big old Alabama defensive tackle to hope that we can at least maybe get a little better against the run um, in the middle of this defense as we purge talent all along the defensive line. That's going to do it, folks. That is the seventh round mock draft for the Buffalo Bills. Please jump in the comments section. Let me know what you thought. Give me the things that you like, didn't like, things you want and don't want. Be sure to hit the like button. I would greatly appreciate that. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next time we do a seventh round mock, as well as the first round mocks that drop every Monday. There is a join button if you'd like to support the channel. That would be fantastic. There's a little explainer video. If you just click the button, it'll explain all the little perks and benefits and whatnot. Otherwise, that's it. Have a great day.